Welcome back to Glider Gaming. Our friends over at Graveyard Keeper have released a new game this week. Uh, it's called Swag and Sorcery. I saw an advertisement for it and I found somebody who posted a video who seems to be based out of Wales. And I thought it seemed like a pretty interesting game, so we're going to give it a try. Once upon a time, in a faraway fairy kingdom, a very wise king ruled. Sometimes, the king came up with truly amazing ideas. In fact, the king's great-great-grandfather did have a magical costume. And it was indeed a time of peace in the kingdom. But alas, the costume was stolen. What a cool costume! It would be a sin not to steal it. Oh, what a lovely kitty! You call me a kitty again, and I'll bite your nose off. I'm the black cat. Oh, I see. My apologies. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So the king found a way to save the kingdom. Wow, that was a <laughs> pretty interesting cutscene. They have a narrator and they have a black cat, but they didn't give voices to the king or his advisor. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what we got going. A most important mission. His Majesty's Chancellery welcomes you. Our king requires heroes to complete a most important mission. It is urgent that you hire one in the guild. Hire a hero. Get some gold. Okay, we can hire Eddie. Hopefully we can change his name. Oh, he's got a patch and he doesn't wear clothes. Classy, Eddie. He's impatient, but loves eating pies. Aren't we all, Eddie? An explosive temper. Every time he sees somebody acting dishonest, he literally explodes. Wow, hopefully no one lies to us then, huh? <laughs> He's got 80 hit points, 29 power, 20 strength. Okay, what's power? The total of your character is the sum of all types of damage your character does, plus his hit or hit chance. Okay. Strength, intelligence, vampirism. Doesn't look like a vampire. Survival, amount of armor, agility, affects criticals and dodge, and stamina. Increase by 12 the damage your character deals with special weapons. Adds 10 to armor and 20 to health. Okay, so Sam is kind of cool. Um, unfortunately, I don't see how to change Eddie's name. So I guess we'll be sticking with Eddie. All right, uh, we hired a hero. Yay, we got money. Heroes shouldn't just hang around all day. It makes them fat and obnoxious, especially if you're eating all the pies. Send your fighter out to explore the magical forest. So drag and drop onto a horse. So honestly, this kind of seems like a game we should be able to get on a phone, but I guess it's only available in Steam. So hopefully it's a little bit more in-depth than a phone game. Characters pursue their adventures on their own without troubling you for direction. So I don't have to do anything. I just watch. So a little different than Graveyard Keeper. Rather than just being one person and doing everything yourself, you're more of the third-person omniscient telling others what to do and things like that. So, getting some copper ore. Okay, quick and easy. 
So we took some damage. Um, get some more money for going to the forest, all right. Dressing wounds. Your hero is wounded. Go to the church. But keep in mind, treatment is at your expense. The treasury isn't a bottomless well. So the church is right over here. And we're going to heal Eddie for 10 gold. We healed him, so now we got 30 gold. Not a bottomless well, but they will give you more money than it costs you to do what they ask. So that's good. Villagers are complaining that your character is walking around naked. To solve the problem, collect three chestnut logs in the magical forest, and please save your questions for later. Then we can get a smithy so we can make armor. So... We have one of three. We got ingots, mainly. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so we click the hut. Like, I know I drug it over here, right? What did I do? Hey, well, there we go. Two plus one we had. Quest is done. Um, this is a surrender flag, and anything that's in our little bag here will be saved if we surrender. But we are completely undamaged so far, so... All right, so we've got our three logs, close it up. So we've got our logs. All right, now we can build the smithy. So we click this here, use our logs. Bazanga. We already have our first achievement, hooray. Actually, you can't see that, interesting. I got an achievement, you can trust me on that. So we can turn Let's see, one ingot in. Uh, so just drag Eddie in there, I suppose. Yep, he's making me an ingot. Oh, I didn't read it to see if it said anything, sorry. Your hero hasn't even forged anything before, so let them start with something simple. Militia greaves, for example. It doesn't matter if they turn out crooked. It's your character who's got to wear them, not you. So, Militia Greaves, we need one more ingot, so we have to go back into the forest. Okay, thanks for the hint. So, lots of stuff is going on here, but we can't really click and interact with these people. So we can send Eddie to the baths. We can't sell anything, because we don't have anything to sell, but we also can't buy anything. Just our chest of goodies, and then this is kind of hints and stuff. So escape, escape and save. I'm not going to go through all those and bore you with that right now. All right, get some more iron here. That will give us enough to make our greaves, I think. Oh, fire, bro! Set us on fire! What a jerk! So now we can drag Eddie back over here, have him make one more ingot, and then craft us the greaves. He's not very good at crafting, or I guess he's just not very good about making high quality crafts. So now we can do a training camp for a fee. We don't have enough logs to do it though, so. Uh oh. I'm your blacksmith. Nice to meet you. There's trouble in the village. The peasants went out to mow the field, and their scythes fell apart in their hands. They need new scythes, but we have no copper. Bring five pieces of copper to the blacksmith and get gold. Um, we can equip Eddie with our new pants. No, we can't. Eddie's not high enough level to wear pants, people. Guess this is why we shouldn't be asking questions. Out to find wood so we can build a thing to train Eddie to wear pants. Because he's an adult, of course you don't learn to wear pants before you become an adult. Luckily, that's enough copper ore to complete our side quest, and that's a giant leaf beast. And he is licking us to death, slowly but surely. If you retreat with some health, you'll keep the loot that's in your bag. But 
only part of the rest. Oh boy. Okay, so we defeated Licking Leaf Beast, and that was our our end. So, got our ore, got a wood, got some healing leaves. Okay, we can build this. And we can turn over some copper. Got a bunch of gold. Oh, I didn't read that again. I gotta think about reading that. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna train Eddie up to level two so he can wear pants. Apparently, I haven't noticed an experience gauge, so... Um, we could train him to level three, but I'm gonna hold off from that. Who knows what we need this money for. So we built our training camp. Meanwhile, the royal advisor was sharing his sinister plans with the gargoyles in the dungeon of the palace. A villain. Finally, I was wondering when we were going to get to the good part. He's going on and on and on about his plans, and he hasn't even worked on his laugh. What an amateur! All the better. The good guys should win in fairy tales. That's just what the winners tell you. If you win, you are good. Is it just me, or is the main protagonist not the uh, advisor in the dungeon, but the cat? It, I, I bet, like, we go to fight this wizard, and the cat just kills him. It's like, I've been the bad guy the whole time. <laughs> oh, and I, once again, I didn't read whatever that said. Okay, it's time to send your fighter for training and raise their level. If you suddenly run out of money, you can always extract resources, craft items, and sell them at the market. Oh, I already did that, so we're done. Good work. It's very useful to raise your character's level. There's nothing more frustrating than a high-quality bit of gear that no one can use. All right, so, oh, okay, we don't have to drag him back in here. We just go into equip and put on his pants. Hooray, pants! Okay, so we can make a hunting lodge. Your fighter is at least a little more confident after training. That hunt, hunted? I bet it's supposed to be haunted look in their eyes is fading. Maybe it is hunted look in their eyes is fading. Because, you know, you're walking around naked and you might be hunted by anything. Now try to put the greaves on your heroes. Okay, we already did that. So now I can build the hunting lodge. Don't forget to see that your characters are properly equipped before battle. The better the armor, the better your character's chance of survival. And the calmer you can feel. So you need a lot more wood. So build the hunting lodge. Your fighter could really use a good sword. To make one, you'll need a chestnut plank, which you can make in the hunting lodge. Go ahead and build one. Back out we go, now wearing pants. Alright, just, oh, okay. You get to fight a mushroom man. Man. Mushroom man took us out? That's lame. So we got nothing, and we lost progress towards what I'm assuming is the boss fight. So, okay. Um, we can go heal our... Okay. We can go heal our bro here at the church for quite a lot of gold. And we can try not to fight a mushroom man, because apparently we are no match for a mushroom who rips off part of his face, takes no damage, and then throws at us for infinite amounts of damage. So I guess we need to be ready to run away. Oh, we get a wolf instead. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Oh boy. Got some wolf pelts and whew, finished it one life. All right. I don't think that's enough wood. Nope, we're still one wood short. Oh, hey, he heals on his own. So we don't have to just blow 20 some gold each time we want to heal him. Vegetable farm, a mill. So apparently we're going to build three more buildings, it looks like. And then our city looks pretty full. We don't know what this is. If it, Some of these things just don't seem to be anything. It's not all that long to regenerate, so we probably should not go around spending money on healing our people. Being that, like, finishing quest nets is like 20 or 30 gold at a time, healing him for 25 is a bit of a waste. I'd say we go before he's healed, but we finish that last one at one life, so probably need all the hit points we can get. Alright, that's the last wood we need to build whatever wood hut we need to, to make. And another wolf, all right. Ooh, free hit. <laughs> hey, we beat this wolf at seven hit points. Look at us, all right. All right, so we can come down here now. We can build this thing. We said we need these planks, so we have enough left over to make one plank. So we better drop this fella down here. Okay, sorry to bother you, but the miller's boring me to death. He wants me to fix his millstone, but where can I find a chestnut plank I'll need? Could you help? So we need to give him two chestnut planks, but we could only make one. We can make one ingot, but I'm betting we can't make anything with one ingot. No, we cannot. The sword for our next quest needs a bunch of ingots and planks, so... That's all we can do for the moment. We did build the lodge so we get a little bit more gold. So that's... Okay, a wooden toy sword is very sweet, but it's time to give your fighter a proper weapon. Send your fighter to the smithy and let him make a sharp blade. Hi, my sons and I are the best hunt monster hunters in the whole kingdom. I hear that you don't... I hear that you and your men have decided to challenge us. Don't make me laugh. You can't even hunt down a wolf. Kill five wolves. In fact, I've already killed two, so credit much? No? Okay. Only after. Um, so we could hire a new character. We could do that. We could also just level up Eddie. Twice. Okay. Maybe Eddie will finish a battle at more than seven health. Probably also help if Eddie was properly equipped with, you know, clothes or armor. Oh no, they lit me on fire again. Hey, we got some gold. Okay, that's good for the two planks. Ooh, we might have to run away. Back when we had full hit points, we would often lose to this dude. Uh, uh. Ooh, we got away? Nope, we died. Which means I think we got nothing. Pretty sure we got nothing there. Yeah, we got nothing. We can make some wolf leather, though. Looks like you used that leather to make these deals. Let's get back out there. I wonder if it's the exact same encounter. I didn't really pay attention that first time. No, it's not. We definitely didn't fight living leaves. Licking leaves? Did that statue just move? Oh no, we really can't beat wolves when we're injured. It's too much, guys. 
Ooh, okay, so I thought we were going to die, so I retreated. <laughs> but I think we left with the planks. Nope. What do we leave with? We leave with some iron? Yeah. Okay. So we don't have enough ingots to make breastplates, but we can make a hat. And that's better than nothing. Put on a hat, please, Eddie. Kind of, I think I'm going to miss his dapper hair. That's quite the hairdo he has there. But you can still see his masterful eye patch. Gee, me Christmas. These wolves are beating me up. And a licking beast? I don't think I can take on a licking beast, too. And we're dead. Alright. We were getting our butts kicked. Good thing there doesn't seem to be a penalty for dying. That's always nice. We don't have monies enough to heal a poor Eddie. So, all in all, kind of like a fun little deal. Things happen pretty rapid fire outside of combat, and the combat moves a little slow, but it's a little entertaining. So, got an opening week, and there, it was also like 25% off, so we can play this for a bit. So... It looks like you only send one character. That's why I didn't hire another one. And we don't like horses to run more than one fight at a time. So I thought training Eddie would help. But then like we just face two enemies at a time and get our butts kicked. But we need those two wood. So we can retreat with the two wood and complete a quest. Come on, Eddie. Uh-oh. Evasion's not good. Okay, got some wolf pelts. Hopefully we don't have another encounter. We definitely can't survive another encounter. Ooh. All right, resources. All right, okay. Let's pull Eddie down here. Have him make two planks. Bring Eddie up here. Have him make those. 350. Nice. So now we have plenty of money to hire somebody. We got Noel. Can't. I, I'm guessing Noel is also a man because he's got exposed pectoral muscles. Um, Noel has way less strength. A little bit more agility, a little bit more stamina, less intelligence. So unfortunately, no well, and way less uh, power, but I think power is a conglomerate kind of deal. Details. I think most of these stats are also affected by um, the equip bout, so... Uh, Noel is quite a bit less powerful, but he's several levels lower, too. So let's kind of hang on to Noel, see what happens. Forced vacation. Our locals are scolding me. Supposedly I do nothing all day except basking in the sun. But it's because I've run out of copper. If you bring me some, I'll make you a helmet. Okay. Well, I already made a helmet, but we have a second hero now. So five ingots? Oh, wow. I could, like, make myself a breastplate for five ingots. So let's go back out find stuff for the guy who doesn't like we do all of our own blacksmithing so i don't understand what this blacksmith feller's doing hey we beat a wolf all right but 
I'm gonna get ready to run away because we definitely can't defeat any other encounter. Let alone another wolf. We're out. Okay, so we got our two wood and then half of the other stuff. So you can be our point man down here now. Make a spear now. Can't quite make the sword. I think I'd rather make the breastplate before I do anything else because it's just real rough out there. You know, just getting beat up by wolves. Send this dude out, but like, he has literally no armor. If he fights a wolf, he'll be toast. It's too bad you can't like drag and drop what's in your little bag. Because I'd rather definitely have multiple things. Like, And this is the more important one to me right now. Ooh, free hit. Oh, we got wood out of the nature thing. Okay, we're just going to call it there. We're not going to be able to beat that feller. Got one of our iron. Copper, not enough though. We did get enough for a few more planks. So I... I guess we're gonna have to send this Noel feller out. Just because our other dude needs to heal. Ouch. Okay, that was a bad idea. Don't do that again. Food stand. So I can heal either one of them. Really explain to us what the bathhouse is about. All right, free hits and another enemy right away. The eight gold's not really worth anything to me right now. Everything seems to cost quite a bit more than eight gold. Oh, oh, we got defeated. How, wait, but we defeated it. I'm really confused over that one. It's like it died, but then we died. So it must have gotten some sort of fire reoccurring damage on us. We didn't really notice. Come on, ripping parts of your face off to attack us should deal you damage. Just saying. Healing leaves. Oh, whoa, check that out. It did work, but I've clicked other things before. Okay, that's really cool. That's good to know. Especially like right now when we're getting attacked by a wolf who's probably going to kill us. Okay, we got to get out of here. Okay. So, it's a little miserable right now, like just barely eking out, running away every time. But now we can build a breastplate. So hopefully now we can absorb a few hits. All right, and he's decked out in a full suit of armor. His survival is now 175. He absorbs 26% of damage dealt to him. Hopefully this will allow him to survive more than one enemy at a time. Well. 150 hit points, so apparently Wearing armor increases your actual hit points, too, rather than just giving you defense that reduces damage. But also it does that, too, because we absorb so much damage. Uh-oh. Evasion. Okay, yeah. This weird nature green circle definitely dealt us damage after we defeated that thing last time. But look at that. We defeated two creatures in a row. Good job, Breastplate. Oh no, three creatures? I don't know if we can handle three creatures. I'm taking 19 damage instead of 20 some. I'm out. We just need to take our stuff and go. 
I'd really like to level him up, but with 57 gold, I don't think we're going to be able to do anything except heal and go back out again. Must be like ice damage. Right. Yeah, they turn it up like ice at the end. Quite the wolf. The last one only dealt us like 60 damage, so we should be able to survive this one too, question mark. Yeah, free hits. All right. Get some wood. Oh, third enemy. Ouch. Dylan is 15. All right, we survived. Yay. All right, we killed enough wolves to get some money. All right, now we can level up our other guy, so we can kind of start alternating. Oh, guess we can level them up once. Alright, so we can build the sword now and progress the story, which I think is a little bit better than doing the side quest. And also we'll be able to actually deal some damage now. Getting rid of our wooden sword. Alright, money. Let's train Noel. Your fighter is spoiled, and their spirits have fallen because of all the hard work they've had to do. They keep wandering around the village complaining about life. Send them to the spa. And after we send them to the spa, our group increases so we can use both our people. People with a good mood can double their attacks, so that's that free attack we've had. Find more items and craft better equipment. Bad mood, you could lose your turn. Um, gain item is reduced and no chance of crafting better equipment. So that green bar here must be mood. So we don't really need to send him. His mood's pretty okay. So we've increased mood. That leads to increased group size. Your fighter is very fine, of course, but they stand alone against many enemies. It's almost unfair. Hire a partner for them, if you haven't already, and send your newly formed party of fighters into the magical forest. So I'm going to unequip Eddie of his stuff. We're going to kind of look at both of them here. So 95 health, 84 health. So Eddie's at a level higher, so that kind of makes sense. Um, 12 strength, 26 strength, 18 intelligence, 19 intelligence, 24 stamina, agility, 19 agility, 13, 18. So this is a better agility character. This is a better strength character. All of these increase health, 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 and strength. So I think Eddie's going to be our, our frontline feller. And then Noel down here, if we look here, um, you increase agility with these build outs. So let's craft as much leather as we can. And how much wood can we craft? We can craft a few more wood. Can we make any? No, we're out of ingots. So we can't give. Noel a, a better crossbow, but we can build a basic crossbow. And we can either build a jacket or pants and a hat. So I guess we'll build multiples rather than just the one thing. I think you're all done doing stuff. You're all done doing stuff. Characters with melee weapons can only attack if they're at the front of the party. But we built you a crossbow. And a hat. And a pants. So now they've doubled their agility up to 45. And he's got his strength up to 37. Alright. 900 gold to hire our next member. <laughs> Quite the hat. Does not even cover nearly any of their head. All right, how do we deal with a wolf when we have two people? Almost instantly. That is sweet. So we need the wolf pelt the most to make more leather to get 
his armor. Oh no, don't light us on fire, that's rude. We say as we kill the monster. Whoa, the eyes go, whoa, one shot? Nice. Okay, sent out our party of two adventurers. Your second fighter will need a ranged weapon or they won't be able to fight. By the way, while you're away on adventures, we issued a permit to build a fashion house. It's time for your fighter to prove their worth. Let them show that your investment has not been in vain. See if they can defeat a couple of strong Ents. Our children are afraid to go picking berries because of them. We'll get the fashion house blueprints when we defeat some Ents. These are elite monsters have a star in different color scheme. Double hit points, goodness gracious. All right, let's ride out. Three wolf pelts, that's awesome. Really get some leathering going on. An elite leaf creature. Oh. It's a mystical ent. We have some secret loot. Your main stat is little tiny man. Oh, interesting. Get some real good details on enemies. Okay, so we can put a healing cue. I think we'll worry about that once we get back. Oh, that tongue thing does the whole party damage. That sucks. Hopefully this dude doesn't throw anything at the back row, because he died. How come you got to attack twice? Three times. We've only attacked once. Oh, we were able to handle it. Alright. Let's do some crafting here. Craft all those. Craft all those. Can make a better crossbow now. Our morale is dropping, so we should probably wait to build that until we go to the spa again. You really don't need anything else. You've already got your better sword. So spa, then just Noel. Then Noel can make the better crossbow. We might level Noel, Noel up to level 4 if we have the money for it. Oh, we need level 4 to use the crossbow, so let's try. Yeah, perfect. We don't have any money left, but perfect. Boom. Now the agility is 60. That's crazy. Dang, 72 bonus damage. Or increases it by 72, whatever. Noel, antisocial, and loves sleeping. This fidger has been climbing trees since he was a kid. He's like a cat with nine lives. Oh, no. You're the back row. You're the front row. Back to the forest. Oh, good. A wolf. Hopefully we get two pelts, and then I think we can build the armor for Noel. Perfect. In case we have to run away. Here's another elite... 32 damage to that back row. Luckily, we got that free hit. Yikes. Ouch. Okay, we survived. <laughs> I was stressing there for a second. I like these little background things, like you may not be paying attention to, like just the golden flickers in the eye. Okay, every time we bring out Noel, Noel dies. Whoa. Poor Noel. More crafting. Okay, we killed the things we needed to kill. Got some money, and now we can build a fashion house. Over here. 
We don't have enough wood to build the fashion house or money, so we won't be doing that for a while. Honored guest. Yesterday, some visitors from a distant village played cards with our hunters and lost their spears. Their way back is long and dangerous. Could you help them? They'll give you leather for it. Give two light spears to the visitors from the distant village. A fashion house is the most important thing you can build for a village. Questionable. Where else will your heroes be able to join the culture of high fashion? Build one immediately. Mr. Guess, a lone traveler, visited your village and made you an offer. He's found something he believes may interest you, but doesn't know its true value. He's willing to sell it for 100 gold, but he can't show it to you until he's been paid. Let's gamble 100 gold. Ooh. All defenders of small remote villages wear this sort of home. So it's green, so it's better, question mark, than one we already have. This was the wrong button. So, um, our current one gives plus 10 health. This goes plus 16, plus 2 defense, plus 15 fire damage resistance. He, we get lit on fire all the time. And the bonus defense. So, yeah, we're going to wear this green hat, even though... Yeah, so just, green just must be like the fire resistance or something. So now we can sell these things here because we're not using them anymore. We have a little bit of money. Can we build you clothes? Yes, we can. Made the best of that, made everything there. Um, somebody wants spears. We need planks for spears, of course. Put on your shirt. Let's go hunting. 78. Oh my gosh. Just everything he's got. Plus 13 agility. Plus 18 agility. Plus 12 agility. Plus 9 agility. That's nuts. Just nuts. That hat's terrible. We need a different hat for this kid. Haha, -ha, you can't light me on fire now. I have fire resistance. You have dead. So really we need wooden planks right now. Copper's fine, but like we can't do anything with the copper we have. Maybe we still have to give that guy some ingots so we can use them for that. Yeah. Give us more logs. Another mythical beast. Yeah. Didn't kill him this time. Noel survived because we bought him a shirt. Everyone survives longer with shirts. It's I've decided it's just a fact of life make all those then we will be able to give him the ingots make one of those got another militia helmet so this one prevents from ice damage and gives an additional plus two health and an additional plus two defense so let's go ahead and wear this one even though we're fighting ice we're not fighting well i guess we are we're fighting wolves that give ice so they're both reasonable helmets Question is, should we give the other helmet to Noel? Drops Noel's agility. I mean, it literally says we do 93 damage more and give 15% chance of critical. Oops, where'd we go? Also, you can evade. It's harder to dodge your attacks. I don't think we should give Noel the helmet. I think the one we have is quite a bit better. So, um, I don't think we can build the fashion house even if we had money. Yep, because we gave away all of our ingots. So, let's go back out, folks. Good. We need planks. Come fight a fire beast and you immediately get set on fire. Nope. Good deal. Good, good, excellent. Okay, got some quality logs here. All right, you can make one ingot. So we might be able to build the spears now. Yep, nope, just one. So, okay, fine, we can craft one. 
Fashion house needs ingots still. Ooh, that one turned out to be green. So let's let's relax our people. Spear's worth a lot of money. So what do we have here? This one does more damage. Boost strength slightly less, but deals ice damage. Lowers our defense. More damage is more damage. Let's take a spear into battle. I don't mind taking a little bit more damage if we kill things faster. Ooh, legendary wolf. 120, nice. 55, ice, nice. Death to thieves. Your farmers caught a burglar who was robbing their house at night. Seeking revenge, they brought him to you. The accused man begs your forgiveness and declares that this was all a big misunderstanding. He had nothing to do with any of it. Indeed, the evidence and proof supplied by the farmers raise more questions than answers. Do you banish the accused from the village? I mean, I was all on board with banishing him until I raised more questions than answers with the proof. So let's let him stay. Ooh. Rescued from a miserable fate, the grateful wretch hands you a parcel. He seems to believe there's something valuable inside. Money is valuable. It, it is pure value. Evasion, how dare you. So I wonder... It looks like he's throwing that spear. I thought it would, you know, be a spear he jabs with. Uh, so maybe he shouldn't be wielding that. Requires strength to wield. It doesn't really say requires stamina to wield. I suppose it is a strength thing. It's built in the strength hut, so I guess we'll let it be. It's up to four little dots and crafting there. And, ooh, look at that. He's really likely to make higher quality stuff. So we need these resources for other things. We're not going to upgrade his weapon. But let's make another jacket and see if he makes a, a green jacket. His morale's pretty high. Nope. What about pants? Can you make green pants no when I saw the other person play through this um, different pants come out with different abilities so his new pants give an additional plus one agility and just but a one lesser defense his new jacket is way worse well, I guess it's way better defense, but it's less than half the agility. So I'm not going to use that one. We can come in here, though. We know we're not going to use these pants. We know we're not going to use this jacket, so we can just sell those. Now I've got just a huge pile of gold. So better build this before I forget. Since it takes gold. Congratulations. Now for the first time, your villagers feel like true residents of our kingdom. They can find new clothes here from across the kingdom and overseas for every taste and budget. We have a competition available. Field medicine. There are high quality doctors in our churches, but it's a real bother for a seriously wounded character to crawl all the way to the church. So build a laboratory and make at least five healing potions. I'll get a random reward. So we need more planks. No competitions available, but it says there's a competition available. Dance party in the barn. I pay 50 coins. I can win reputation or I just get reputation? I don't know. Send your characters to the competition. Okay. So we just drag people in. Okay. So now there's a competition. We had to join it there first. So we can take both our people. Apparently he's wearing green. Good leather is rare these days. 
So, Countryman's Amusements. Dress. So this would just let us switch out our loadout. So, so I guess here it says green. So, his spear is actually green. Where the other one, even this green helmet, is plain colored. So, it's not like we can switch out other stuff. You can give a judge a present before a competition. Learn more about their preferences. I don't, I'd much rather sell this stuff for money than give it away. Especially since, like, even if I learn stuff, I wouldn't be able to do anything because I don't have anything else to wear. Five, seven, eight. Not amazing. Seven, nine, six. Okay, nine, seven, six. Somebody else. Okay, we're better than nine. We're better than that one with a nine, seven, six. Better than that one with a nine, seven, six. Ooh. So this person's going to get first. We might get second. Nine, seven, six. So we should get second. This person should get third. Yep, there we go. Second place. So we got second and fourth. We got 200 gold. So we made 150 gold. And we got reputation that we don't know what that really does. But we're here now we've got 35. So the higher reputation, the better chance you have of getting into the most fashionable contests. I don't really understand the point of contests. Mystery guest. Right, so last time we gave somebody 100 gold, it turned out real well. This time we just got Scott's pants. So I think that's what we've already been making for Noel. Yeah, Scott's pants. So this one has more defense and more agility. Okay, probably not worth 100 gold. We can sell the other one for 94, so it's, we paid 6 gold to get better pants. I think that's worth it. Thanks for joining me, everyone. We're going to call it here, and we'll be back next time for some more swag and sorcery. Have a good one.